the designer here wants to indicate cobblestone paving for rather large area of driveway. One way to do that, and the quickest way, is to use a hatch pattern. So I've started the hatch command and I've used cobble2, a hatch pattern that I've picked from the internet, and up pops the hatch pattern. I've picked the entity, I've picked the hatch pattern file. Notice here the angle is set at 0 and the scale at 100. Density is uh, 0.5. I'll see how this goes. We may have to change that scale uh, so that the density is lower. Um, I'll just experiment by going 0.5 for the density and that increases the density. So we'll go to 5 and that density is less. So OK. And GCAD Plus will go off and apply some hatching. And there we are. And I can zoom out a little. Clearly that scale could be adjusted. We chose 5. Quite possibly 1 will be reasonable. And we can unselect all. I think that's a little heavy. So let's go to a scale of 2. And Cobblestones are about a hundred millimeter in diameter, so this indication is a little too large for the physical stones. Let's mention one of these across. Yes, yeah, that's way, way too large. But and we can again decrease it as we did before. But really, what we're trying to show is this area will be an area of cobblestone paving. So if we go to an A3 print, you'd, you'd argue that that shows what we're after quite well. Well, we can improve things by going back into model space. I think pick the hatching and set the colour more to more closely represent a cobblestone-y sort of colour. And we'll unselect all and go back into the layout and I think that looks quite nice. It's quick and gives the client the right impression. Of course if you add a vehicle from the library, go to details and we'll add a vehicle, an SUV filled and inserted into the drawing and pop it down so here where it's not going to interfere too much and we can spin it like so. Now when we go to our final I think that softens the whole appearance of the design. So the quickest way to do indicate cobblestone paving is simply by finding a hatch pattern that works or much more elaborate uh, indication of cobblestone paving can be done by using a block. Here's a block of an elaborate pattern and it's organized in such a way that we can connect one block to another. So if you can see these can be connected quite nicely and here that, that one and that one are connected to the two on the left so there's an example of another way to indicate it but if you wanted to accurately count numbers and set things out nicely you could create a block of a cobblestone and if we measure from one corner to the other I think we've made a 90 millimeter square cobblestone symbol and what I've done here is use the array command to pop a symbol so um, what I now want to do I made that block and I want to copy it and position it ready to do the, the next circle here so 
this is going to need a little bit of tweaking where we'll do that and we need to position the to get the appropriate gap we've got an arc here so we're going to rotate that around the arc um, I'm aiming to do what was done over there on the left and make a block but this time the block will contain the actual cobblestone uh, in this case 90 millimeters wide I'm just looking at it maybe we might position it what, what I want to do is position that so it's halfway across I've got polar on so I need to take polar off and I want it sort of halfway and angled when we get to this stage it's just a matter of using the array command picking that red cross up as the center so I'll do the circular array and then we'll trim it at a later stage but we've also got a cobblestone paving pattern for something that a circular area that is um, so 1600 mil or 1 1.6 meter in diameter and that pattern of course could be repeated but I digress so we go uh, modify pick the array command we want a polar array we select the object which is that one that we carefully position we hit enter the center point will be that point marker we could have used end and the previous ring I used 36 um, items this is I've chosen the method just at the first of those angle to fill a little bit of guesswork required here we'll go 32 whoops not 332 that will make a, a very large number of copies and we'll just okay that so there's the inner circle um, we missed by one that was a fairly good guess um, but it's getting it's getting a little tight isn't it as we get into the center there so I need to do a little more experimentation but it's certainly creating uh, what we are after and if we can make a block that's similar to this one here um, then we'll have a very useful block to use but it's all dependent on your usage do you want this physical representation accurately done or are you happy and I suggest you would be with just using the hatch command well experimenting with commands such as the array command will often throw up some oddments and what I've done here is just take that um, symbol that we've been generating by working in the on the left and turning it into a block and it's perhaps useful it's a diameter of 741 the circumference and the radius of 370 so I'll just tidy that up at 370 and that one there make the radius 380 that looks fine and this one can have a I want a whole number 805 is the radius so we can now turn that into a block which could be quite useful in our future work where we want a, an interesting shape to fill quite a small area so that's playing with and experimenting with cobblestone paving